3D Bill of Material, 3D Bomb, is a new function in ZW3D 2019. All the shapes and components can be listed. We can also set attributes directly. More importantly, there are a variety of effective tools. This is a cabinet. It is assembled with one component, several sub-assemblies, and two shapes. In 3D Bomb, four types of items are listed, including top level only, parts only, shape only, and indented. You can also include the shapes here. And the parts with different configurations can be listed as one item. To add attribute columns, check them in the right list, such as cost, manager, mass, volume, and stock size. Some attributes also have the total option. For the physical attributes, we can calculate them in 3D Bomb. As for the stock size, right-click and select Auto Stock Size to achieve it. Here, we can define a user attribute. It will be listed at the bottom of the column tab. Then, edit it directly in the cell, or copy it from one to another. Creating a drop-down list is efficient for the frequently used attributes. In the Settings tab, select the Preset Attribute List option. Open the default template file located in the installation directory. Add a manager attribute and its names. Then, the drop-down list will be available in the Manager column. After applying the data in 3D Bomb, all of it will be saved to the part attributes respectively. The Manager, Status, mass, volume, and stock size. If you want to exchange the order of the columns, drag the header directly, then apply it. Here is the search bar. Type the keywords and the matching items will be highlighted. Click Exact Search to highlight the full match item. We can also filter the search result. Change the mode to Parts Only. Choose the items and right-click to exclude them. They will be hidden in the Row tab. What's more, a condition filter is offered. For example, keep the items which cost is equal to or greater than 5. Uncheck the condition to restore them, or include them directly. Right-click the header. We can merge the column to see how many parts belong to which. To know which part is the cheapest or most expensive, sort the cost by ascending. It will be clear. After finishing editing, let's export the data to an Excel format. One more thing, we can export the attributes format and set it as a default template. In this way, other models can create the bomb table with the same format. With 3D Bomb, the management of part attributes and shape attributes is more efficient.